How you guys doing today? Mega Hawk one here. It's just coming to you with another knife review. So I decided to go ahead and spend a little bit of money on a good knife. So this is Field and Streams uh, 12 inch survival knife. And it's taken apart here so I can show you everything. Because I'm holding the camera in one hand. So first of all, here's their sheath. It's nice, nice nylon and hard. Um, so this sheath I really like, particularly because it's got this nylon overlay. But there's an insert there is a nice hard plastic insert in here so you won't you won't destroy your sheath when you put your knife in because it's got the, uh, the uh, saw back edge another really particular thing I really like about it is um, it's got a kydex it's got the kydex sheath and for you know your sharpener but what I really like about this is this thing is made perfectly to fit you see right there there is that stone has no play at all which means you don't have to worry about losing it None of this, I mean, none of this swivels. It's going to stay in there when you really need it. It's got the nice, um, it's got the nice snap up here. There's absolutely no play in this lanyard, which is really nice. Uh, and it's got the awesome, if you, you can see it's riveted back here, which is super cool. It's got a nice, generous uh, belt loop in here. You know, for, so for your concealed carry guys, you know, you can definitely carry this around. Well, you know, if your state permits it. But anyway, to the knife. So it's got a nice, awesome... Uh, bake, baked black finished blade on it that measures 12 inches, super sharp edge of course, and of course the saw back edge. And if you, could, it, I don't know if you can see it in here, but I, I, I took it to a, a leg on my table and it works great. Um, you go, there's the logo there for you. So another really cool thing, re, big reason I like this knife is it's got a rubberized grip, but these square cutouts right here, they have checkering on them, so it gives you a nice firm grip. Like this thing's not going, this thing's not going to go anywhere you know, in your hands. It's not going to slip out. It's just really good. And it also comes with a very generous fit to size um, compartment for your um, survival stuff, waterproof masters, hooks, sinkers, all that good stuff. And it comes in a nice waterproof container. Waterproof container! Which is something I don't see too much of because they're usually in a little bag and you have to find a little container that either fits in there. This came with the knife. So this thing retails for about forty dollars at your sporting goods store and it's just a really good buy and the only and it does come with a uh, functional compass here in the um, cap for the hilt but the only thing the only thing I don't exact don't really I've already had a problem with don't really like about this knife is it is very easy to cross thread uh, this into the hilt and you guys know once you cross thread something like that uh, you're, you're pretty you're pretty screwed Either you, either um, it's not going to sit right, you'll get water in it, or you're going to it's going to this thing this thing is going to be completely useless. Uh, it's got a nice generous lanyard on it, and what I really like about but besides that, it's the only faulty thing I found with this knife. The the only um, thing I really do like about it is that the cap is all metal. It's not plastic. It's 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 steel, which is awesome. That's something you just don't see. So. Who, when Field and Stream designed this, they did an excellent job. But uh, that's about it. Uh, other knife reviews to come soon. You guys take it easy.